Mr. Morton Woodscoff, Minister for Industry, Business and Financial Affairs, Denmark. Mr. Noriel Ararus, Minister of Maritime Affairs, the Republic of Panama. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning and a warm welcome to this year's Marine Tech Conference. With innovation and technological breakthroughs, maritime technology, or marine tech, has the potential to transform and improve the resilience, efficiency, and sustainability of the international maritime industry. Collaboration between all stakeholders, government, academia, industry, and unions will be vital to develop and deploy effective solutions. The Port of Singapore provides fertile ground, or perhaps I should say fertile seas, for productive partnerships in marine tech innovation to flourish and blossom. First, as a busy hub port, we can provide ample opportunities to push technological frontiers as a living laboratory for researchers and companies to test bait your new technologies and solutions. Since 2011, MPA and PSA have been jointly funding research into new technologies to improve the productivity and sustainability of our container operations through the Port Technology Research and Development Program. Through this program, PSA has made progress in automating and greening Singapore's container terminals. It has deployed automated guided vehicles at Tuas Port, which are battery powered and emit 50% less in terms of greenhouse gases compared to traditional diesel powered prime movers. These AGVs still do not have zero emissions because our electricity is generated mostly from natural gas. But it is an improvement compared to traditional diesel powered vehicles. PSA is also evaluating the feasibility of hydrogen fuel cell powered prime movers and electric prime movers to further lower its carbon emissions. I'm pleased to announce that MPA and PSA will be renewing their partnership under the Port Technology Research and Development Program for the fifth time. The renewed partnership MOU will prioritize new technologies for PSA terminals in impactful areas of research, such as automation, robotics, digital and sustainability solutions. This includes robotic solutions for coning and deconing of containers and the test baiting of smart grid and energy storage systems. PSA will be working with industry partners, our institutes of higher learning, and research institutions on many of these projects. Through these initiatives, we provide the support for our local innovation and research ecosystem, and I hope we can attract more research and startup activities to Singapore. Second, we will continue to create a supportive and pro-business environment for technology pathfinders and trailblazers to experiment with new solutions. One example is the use of, mari ma I'm sorry. One example is the use of maritime drones to increase the flexibility and efficiency of ship-to-shore deliveries and remote ship inspections. If we can deploy these drones safely and effectively in Singapore's bustling air and sea space, it will give, I hope, other authorities, other maritime authorities and companies the confidence that the same arrangements can be replicated in other ports around the world. To provide a space to test bait and develop drone technologies, we launched our first marit maritime drone estate during the Singapore Maritime Week two years ago in 2021. We have also taken steps to provide the enabling infrastructure for drones and other technologies. Our maritime 5G network will be rolled out in phases in the major anchorages, fairways, port terminals, and boarding grounds 
starting from this year and to be fully completed by mid-2025. When completed, Singapore will be the first port in the world to provide full 5G connectivity across our port waters. Our next step is to launch a call of a proposal later this year to set up a drone port for ship supplies deliveries. The call for proposal will act as a pathfinder for public agencies and private companies to develop a concept of operations for drones that is suited for Singapore's operating environment as a busy hub port. This is a work in progress, but we are determined to make full use of digital technologies to enhance our port efficiency and productivity, provide safer navigation and better services to our shipping customers, and contribute to improving the resilience of global supply chains in collaboration with other governments and the global maritime industry. The third area, we will continue to develop a strong local core of skilled talent while keeping Singapore as an attractive international hub for manpower development and training. Singapore will remain open and connected with the world. We welcome international talent from different countries to complement the strengths of our local workforce. I believe this complementary approach will enable companies to build strong teams from around the world with a good mix of skills and experience that they need to achieve success. We also encourage our workers to gain international experience through overseas postings and attachments. And for our students to make full use of learning opportunities, such as overseas internships and exchanges that are offered by MPA, the Singapore Maritime Foundation, and our industry partners. Ladies and gentlemen, by leveraging on these strengths, Singapore's marine tech hub can continue to grow from strength to strength. We have been recognized internationally in rankings, such as the DNV Menon Leading Maritime Cities of the World Report, which ranks Singapore first overall in the maritime technology category. The Singapore Maritime Institute has established R&D centers to further push the envelope of newer technologies in decarbonization, digitalization, and cybersecurity. Our startup space with the National University of Singapore through what we call Peer 71 has attracted close to 100 startups from around the world to base themselves in Singapore to develop digital and decarbonization solutions. But we are not going to stop here because our target is to grow this number to 150 startups by 2025. Importantly, we will help those with good ideas and solutions and who want to come to Singapore to expand their operations here and beyond. Many companies from around the world have decided to pursue collaborations here in Singapore to be part of our vibrant maritime ecosystem. And we welcome them. So this morning, I'm very happy to announce three such partnerships. First, Zbox will be setting up its first Asia-Pacific hub in Singapore in partnership with CMACGM, PSA Unboxed, Bureau Veritas Marine and Offshore, and Synergy Marine Group. Enterprise SG has supported Zbox Asia Pacific in working with Singapore-based startups to match promising solutions with problem statements posed by its corporate partners in areas such as supply chain optimization, transport, logistics, and energy. Second, ASTAR's Institute of High Performance Computing will be signing a new master agreement framework with seven industry partners to co-develop artificial intelligence solutions for the maritime sector. This partnership will pursue development and operationalization of artificial intelligence in areas such as near collision detection and predictive vessel maintenance. Um, for our workers who are worried that AI may take over your job, let me say this, don't worry. AI is a tool to help you to do your job better 
but I still believe firmly that we need human workers. But AI can improve your productivity, can make your job more interesting, can make your job easier. The successful use of AI has the potential to transform business processes and operations, leading to greater efficiency, safety, and sustainability. Third, the Coastal Sustainability Alliance, or CSA, which was formed in March 2022 under the leadership of Quark Singapore Limited Maritime Group, will be welcoming 11 new members. Together, the 18 CSA members will work on technological solutions to electrify, digitalize, and decarbonize Singapore's next generation coastal logistics ecosystem. Their goals include designing and deploying e tap and e-supply vessels, as well as developing logistics and fleet optimization solutions to reduce marine traffic by 20%. So I look forward to seeing the fruits of these exciting collaborations in the years to come. Beyond our shores, Singapore is working with like-minded partners around the world to establish green and digital shipping corridors, or GDSC. Vessels must be able to take on sustainable fuel at key ports that they call at around the world. And you know, this is uh, just like what they currently do with conventional fuels. We can also better manage vessel movements if digital information can be standardized and seamlessly exchanged between ports and the shipping lines while preserving sovereignty and data security. The impact of our marine, uh, marine tech solutions will be amplified if such solutions and standards are adopted by like-minded ports around the world. This requires a global network and a global collaborative effort to achieve the best outcome. So we look forward to working with our partners to experiment with new sustainable fuels and digital solutions, improve the interoperability of our port systems, and establish international standards in this regard. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to conclude by wishing everyone a fruitful conference ahead, and let us continue working together to innovate solutions that can transform the global maritime sector for a greener, smarter, and a more resilient future. Thank you very much.